You might think you're pretty good at reading people, but a computer can probably do it better. The other week we talked about DeepFace, a new facial recognition system announced by Facebook that they say can recognize people's faces with the same level of accuracy as humans. But what if a technology could tell you not only who you are, but what you're feeling? It's already happening at research institutions. A team from UC San Diego built a computer system that can tell when humans are faking pain, identifying cues for spontaneous versus put on levels of pain. Thank God this didn't exist when you were faking sick days in elementary school, right? But even further, scientists from Ohio State were able to map 21 different complex emotions, like happy surprise or fearful anger, that even the most sensitive of us humans might have trouble identifying. It's not just faces, though. Your voice can also reveal your true feelings. An app called Moody's analyzes the tone of your voice to classify overall mood, as well as primary and secondary moods, though according to my testing, the accuracy is a little debatable. Okay, Moody, so to be honest, I'm a little hungry right now. I didn't have time to eat breakfast this morning, and I just want, oh, poof. it's depressing. The company Nuance Communications has hinted at involving emotion recognition in their voice recognition products in the hopes of building a better relationship between you and your voice assistant. Update my status to my soccer star just scored a goal for me. Life is good. My pleasure. Between your voice and your face, emotion recognition technologies have already started to trickle down to you. One company called Emotient wants to build emotion sensors into all kinds of products in their own words. At Emotient, we are challenging our customers to create emotionally intelligent technologies that will lead to new levels of customer engagement. Emotient has also built a Google Glass app now in private beta. So how is this tech likely to be used? Look no further than what a company called Aftex is building. This is cloud-based facial analysis that interprets your reaction to ads. On their website, you can already try a demo. Enabling the camera, you'll watch a series of commercials with your expressions and level of attention, concentration, and other reactions recorded. It then shows you detailed information on how you reacted to those ads. You can choose to share it or not. So what's your reaction to all of this? Your lightly furrowed brow tells me you're slightly perturbed. Tell me more in the comments or as always on Twitter, Facebook, Google, or VK, all at Andy Gauss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.